Welcome to Automatic LOD for Unity. In computer graphics, LOD stands for Level of Detail. Levels of Detail are alternative versions of a 3D model with less graphics complexity. Using LOD technology, 3D models will be drawn using lower complex representations as they move away from the viewer. This increases the efficiency of graphics rendering, while the reduced visual quality of the model is often unnoticed at such a distance. Because of this, LOD technology can be extremely useful in large 3D environments, or when targeting less capable devices like mobile phones. Automatic LOD is a powerful extension for Unity that enables you to generate and set up levels of detail for your game. It supports both static and skinned meshes, as well as complex object hierarchies and multiple materials. Let's take a look at the workflow. First, we select the object we want to generate levels of detail for. If we have a whole hierarchy, we select the root. Now we add an automatic LOD component to this object. Once the component has been added, we get access to the object's automatic LOD panel. The recurse into children parameter needs to be checked when processing a full object hierarchy. Levels to generate tells the number of different levels to compute. Levels can be added or removed later. Now, by pressing the Generate LODs button, we will start the computation process. Depending on the complexity of the input meshes, this may take a while. Once the levels have been generated, the automatic LOD panel will show the full set of options. Let's preview the 3D models automatic LOD has generated. The preview cursor helps to visualize LOD behavior without the need to enter play mode and start the game. By dragging the preview cursor from left to right, we move the point of view farther away. Each time we cross an LOD border, a simpler object will be used for rendering. The leftmost level contains the original object, while the rightmost level contains the simplest version of it. Levels in between have intermediate complexities. Borders can be moved, enabling us to change the camera range in which each LOD is used. This range represents screen coverage or camera distance depending on the LOD switch criteria parameter. Screen coverage measures the percentage of screen space the object occupies, while camera distance measures the distance from the object to the camera. Here, the maximum camera distance parameter allows you to limit the rightmost value of the LOD bar. By selecting individual levels, we can also change the amount of original vertices each LOD will preserve. Levels can be added or removed by right-clicking on the LOD bar. When working with prefabs that have automatic LOD components, one extremely important parameter is Enable Prefab Usage. This parameter will save all LOD meshes to disk. By doing so, we enable the object to be used as a prefab. Otherwise, if meshes are not saved to disk, instances of the prefab will reference empty LOD meshes. Sometimes, finer control is needed when decreasing mesh complexity. Groups of vertices may need to be kept in place in certain areas where detail is key, while some others could be discarded earlier in the process. We provide support for this through the Vertex Relevance Modifiers section. Let's see an example. Here, we see a model loses too much detail in the waste area in lower complexity meshes. We want to tell the tool to keep detail in this area and lose it somewhere else. Vertex relevance modifiers are spheres that allow you to change the priority of all vertices that lie inside. Let's add a sphere that will select the waste vertices. We will increase their relevance value so the mesh simplification will try to lose detail in other less significant parts. Default relevance is zero. Positive values will try to keep the selected vertices over the rest, while negative values will make those vertices lose detail earlier. Once the sphere is set up, we need to recompute all LOD meshes. Here, we can see the result. Now we have the exact same amount of vertices than before, but with improved detail distribution. In object hierarchies, we see child nodes have a different automatic LOD panel. Since the root object controls all parameters, it mostly gives statistics about the meshes that have been generated. Sometimes we want to apply different settings to a child object. We can do this by checking the override settings parameter. This opens a new panel. 
where now the child object can also be configured. This helps fine-tuning complex object trees where some nodes may need more detail, whereas other nodes could support a bigger complexity reduction. Use detail only when you need it. Automatic LOD enables you to create more complex environments and optimize your game at the same time. Get it now at the Unity Asset Store.